Hi, welcome back to Live and Breed Horses at Central Christie La Luce. Today I just want to do a little addition to our series about scary places because we talked quite a lot about um, the position of the horse's head and when he's very stressed and looking far away to lower his head. Obviously that you've taught him that previously. Hello Umo, nice for you to come and join me. Ooh, something scary over there. <laughs> So let's see if he, so I found this lovely drawing I had stuck in the tack room about the horse's eye. So the point I wanted to make was about the position of the head for the horse to see. So it's about um, the, the lens of the eye is designed to focus the image onto the retina. And the muscles of the eye adjust the lens to bring the image into sharp focus. And then it's the curved part of the eye, <laughs> right in there, <laughs> is the cornea and that bends the light rays as they pass through and help the lens focus. So research has shown that the centre of the horse's retina allows for the clearest vision and so to focus on an object on the centre of the retina the horse has to look through the upper part of his eye. So this is why, to focus on middle distance things, the horse should arch his neck and bring his muscle in. And obviously when they're grazing, they can see closer. So that's logical when you think about it, when they're grazing, if they, something happens, they immediately raise their head to look. And when they're looking into the furthest distance, that would be the position of the most raised head. And there they don't need to arch their neck to see because the head's high, the centre of the eye can see. So really, just to keep that into account, um, you know, if you see a situation where your horse is looking and you don't think he's going to, that that's going to get into deteriorate into a worse situation, that he's not going to bowl off or get too nervous, then let him look. But you know, the thing about lowering the head, you know, and then of course he doesn't see that far away, he relaxes more. If you lower it below the withers, then he relaxes even more. So it's just to practice that enough that you get to know your horse, you know, and know um, when is the right thing to do. There is no right or wrong. And it's just to, um, to practice and get used to recognising in our horse the amount of muscular tension and nervousness if the situation is overwhelming for him. And by asking him to change focus, him or her, <laughs> to change focus, we can um, turn them away from that scary thing that we know actually is not a threat. You know, that being said, I think we do want to encourage our horses to look and see things so that they get used to it. You know, if they're too frozen and not looking and then things can startle them more. So it's very healthy that they look, you know, and maybe when we see scary things, even to look, and that helps the horse trust in us, you know, that we spotted that scary thing and helped by going between them and the scary thing. So yes, it's just to keep that thing in mind, that the position of your horse's head when he's looking is also about him focusing on what he's seeing. So thank you for listening to me today and I'll see you next time.